Hey guys, it's Brock. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with with everything with Ripley and the campaign to raise money for her memorial and having her skeleton donated and everything and we've raised more than enough money to take care of that. I'm absolutely flabbergasted with the amount of support I've received. I'm like I'm incredibly overwhelmed. And um, <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, I'm filming from my phone right now. And so the big camera, this might be a little easier for me to do um, little personal vlogs like this. Um, for those of you who did not stick around to the end of the last video, we figured out that um, Ripley had some sort of issue with her heart that was unaware, or we were unaware of as in me <laughs> which in an odd way has brought me closer to her because I too have had five open heart surgeries and have had several or I was born with several congenital heart defects um, it's been tough being here alone without her and not having her to greet me when I get up in the morning and you know, when I get home and I really miss just hearing her and having her presence around and it sucks, it really sucks. But the amount of support and emails and comments I've gotten from you guys have been getting me through and I'm sorry I haven't been able to reply to each and every one and I probably won't be able to because there's just so many of them, like way more than I expected. Um, but the remainder of whatever's left after having the memorial done from GoFundMe will be going towards, officially, adding a new member to our flock here. So, another toucan, which is kind of exciting and um, a little sad at the same time. I can't imagine having or living my life without a toucan, honestly. So, and as you know, well, most of you know, toucans are incredibly expensive. Um, they can range upwards of ten to twelve thousand dollars, like Ripley. And I was much more financially stable back when I got Ripley. And your support has just been so incredibly helpful, and I'm just surprised, honestly, at the amount of people that care about me individually if that makes sense. Um, I mean, I, like I said before, I've been doing YouTube for quite a while now. I've worked on other channels and stuff. I've always been kind of the behind the camera guy that organized everything and filmed everything and edited everything. And I don't know, like, like with this channel, I just kind of felt like I made silly bird videos that people watched when they were born, bored, born, <laughs> watched when they were bored and you know i don't know like that they that people cared more obviously about ripley than i am because the channel is about toucans after all and then with my last channel as well that i worked on i was kind of taken advantage of and then when i got the channel to a point where they didn't need me anymore they just kind of threw me away so you know it's been I don't know, it's been so uplifting just seeing how many people have told me that, you know, the work that Ripley and I have done has inspired them to become biologists or they that they watch their videos with our, our videos with their family, like they make it a family thing. That's just, it's incredible to me. Like, I don't know, like, I really don't know what to say because it's so crazy to me to uh, feel like the videos that I've made here have made a difference. And it's very special to me and I'm very grateful for that and for Ripley's involvement in it. And I'm very excited to share the future with you guys and see what happens next. Even though things have sucked. I mean, it sucks so bad coming home and not having her excited to see me and poke her head around the corner um my front door is like right by a hallway 
and her enclosure is right down that hallway so every time I would come home she would she would hop over to the that side of the cage where she could see down the hallway immediately and just be like like looking for me and she'd call for me and you know when I went in there and sat on the computer and did work or edited or whatever she'd just fluff up and she'd usually be bouncing all over the walls and then she'd come and just fluff up on a perch as close to me as she could and just sit there and stare at me <laughs> for hours and it sucks not having that I miss her astronomically <laughs> really sucks but I'm very thankful for you guys and for your support of not just all of us but me individually honestly because it, it's really kept me going and um, we don't really need support for the memorial anymore but um, if you guys want to continue to donate, feel free to. It's the same link, gofundme.com slash remembering Ripley. And the rest of whatever's left is going to go towards continuing the channel. And um, again, don't feel obligated. Um, and then the feathers, uh, man, there's been so many people that have wanted feathers and stuff. I haven't been able to keep up with any, or, geez, like, there's been like 200 emails just to give you an idea and I've read through most of them and I've replied to a good bit but it's been hard to keep up with um, so if you donate over 50 you get a feather wall they last I don't know how many I'm gonna have but from now on I'm gonna like I cannot keep up with the amount of people so please email me with the feather in the subject line with your address if you've donated over that on either Patreon or GoFundMe and uh, include your name and address and all that and I'll get one out to you as soon as possible and attach a screenshot or something of the GoFundMe or Patreon transaction and uh, I just want to say thanks guys and coming later this week I'm gonna release the last video that I took of Ripley that Originally, I kind of disregarded because I wasn't quite happy with how it turned out, but given the circumstances, I'm going to release it. And this was taken a couple of weeks before she passed, and uh, it'll just, and chron chronologically, it'll be the last video that I took of her for the channel specifically. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And please keep the keep the support rolling. I need it and probably going to take the next couple of maybe week or so to travel to Oklahoma and see friends and family and just try to keep my mind off stuff so anyways thank you again so much guys <laughs>